What's happening? Just showed up to the shop down here in Ohio at Kyle's shop, and uh, we're about to watch Chuck do some graphics. And uh, I'm gonna work on the throttle, mount a seat, just get getting ready for sprint car season. Dude, that seat has seen better days. Where'd you get that from? Where's ja where's jamming? my dad at lunch. Oh, nice. Nice. We'll have everything will be at the new shop other than the car we're racing. Okay, so jamming will have the car we're racing here. Yeah, so he's got so he can do his weekly tinkers. Yeah, keep Sweet. him busy. Yeah, lighten up your workload. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy to see the S. Yeah, we went back to old school. Yeah. They printed the graphics. Winging it. Winging it, yeah. This? Yep. Oh, I'm telling you, it's going to be a beast, dude. <laughs> just yeah, that is going to be tough. Like, you're the man of chuckles, but that is going to be a beast. That is, that is going to be tough right there. All right. So I got to mount this seat. Looks like I got options. So that's cool. <clears throat> and really what that shows is a, a successful racing career. That wow. that seat there has seen some stuff. Okay. Some of us would call that a whole new issue. I like the whole part of it. Just so much nicer in life. From this angle, it looks like your driver can't even see over the dash. Uh, that's kind of why I left it. Fucking, it's kind of why I didn't put anything else in that seat. <laughs> brake pedal going all the way to the motor plate because it's so high how they make them. Like, dude, his brake foot's going to be here, his throttle foot's going to be here. I'm like, but I figured I'd just wait until you got here before I started packing. Yeah, I mean, how? Once I put that thing in there, and even I got in there and started. He's like that fucking neighbor that I fucks you on everything you do. Oh, that fucking dude. Yeah, we had a guy die. That lives right down the street from here. Yesterday morning. What's the story on this car? Brand new car? Uh, yep, brand new car. All carbon. Brand Fresh new. 2835. Ooh. Oh. Wait all. To get a stumble valve and ready to go. All we need is our CSI shocks, it looks like. They, uh, the boys down at CSI's. Took, took the shocks back to get them all gone through over the winter, and I'm really hoping we get them back. Hi, Garrett. <laughs> really, really want to get those back if I could. Garrett, I suppose I should call you. I'm pretty busy lately, but um, yeah, I'll give you a call this week. All right, so my seat has everything. It's already been mounted, but this is a new car, so we're going to make sure it fits right. And ultimately, for me, just like getting my eye eye line right so that I can see through the car. He's kind of got this big lip on it. And then just getting myself comfortable with the, the brake pedal and the throttle pedal. He went ahead and picked up brand new uh, Smith Titanium brake pedal, so I'm pretty pumped. I'll show you guys that, it's badass. Um, but the throttle pedal in these things, so you can mount, it's a floor mount throttle pedal, and you really have to be careful with how far away from the firewall you get because your throttle linkage your throttle linkage rod is fixed and then the farther you get the pedal away from it, it it begins to give you a problem with your throttle linkage and the feel of how the pedal is so we're gonna work on that I have a feeling I'm gonna have to move the pedal forward a little bit but we got Chuck down here Chuck's doing some vinyl um, he went to go grab his drink I had a minute to be you know just kind of speak to everybody uh, brand new DRC I was pretty pumped uh, this is the first time I've ever been in one that had a carbon body. So, 
Yeah, yeah. Thank you, uh, Jam in and Kyle, for just pulling all the stops out and giving me a hot rod. So we're running uh, Putnamville, the No Way Out. No, it's not even Putnamville. The No Way Out 40 is at Paragon coming up this next weekend. So we're going to run that. Um, that kind of kicks off my sprint car season. But yeah, yeah, I'm going to stop talking. Where are you? Where's where Happy? I'd say <clears throat> right there is Happy. Right there? Yeah. Well, how far is that? Um, you're about. Yeah, I got you. Here, I can fucking uh, move forward. So, just measure and see how far it is. I usually go five and a half. From the firewall to the brake pedal. That's fucking on there. That's five. Oh, from the front or the back? I don't know. I'd, I'd say That's if five. we could go. I can go back. Go the back. Yeah, I'd say let's shoot for five in the middle. Okay, five in the middle of the pedal right here? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. It is badass though. Like, that thing is so stout. It's just cool because A, you can fucking get it all. It goes all the way to the firewall. But dude, you can get you can work that fucking thing so much better than the original one. It's, it is very nice. Okay, so I need to... So Don bought a titan. He put a titanium one in the wing car, and <clears throat> I I'm I'm pushing on it the first time. I was like, I don't know about that. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. He loves all his nice titanium stuff. And that thing broke at a Circle City qualifying or something. I was <laughs> like, no more tie pedals. I need to run this. And you don't have to get the you don't have to run the spring very like aggressive on the brake because I have that other spring to hold it. Well, I'm I'm not I'm like not on the brake like everybody else in the country. Yeah, I'm small and so I can barely touch the floor. I don't really need a ton of using them for like the first time in a while. <laughs> Dude, I actually it was it was the reason. I got out of the car under red. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, my ass was on fire. My ass was like literally on fire. And I'm like burning up. I'm like, okay, pop the belts and just get loose. And then I'm like looking at this car on me with the, the right front KO'd. I'm just like, yeah, I think we're done. I think we're done. Let's just be done. Yeah, let's get out. Like, yeah, this is a good place. This is a good time to get an interview. Yeah, let's, let's liven up the broadcast. That was literally getting ready to be... Dude, there was only four. There was only four. And at like nine seconds a lap, we only had 30 seconds left. <laughs> well, I think he's making such good money. Well, yeah. but it's just, I mean, there comes a time when you gotta like almost be a fucking parental figure in that situation where you're like, hey, cocksucker. I mean, well, they were all. Yeah, the, don't be a total. They were also. They were all surprised I didn't move Joe B because I had a plenty of opportunity. But a Joe B is kind of a teammate, you know, because it's got the other motor. We were pitted with him at Chili Bowl, and like, man, you can't, you can't, you can't act like the kids are the problem and then be just like them. Yes, exactly. And you knew as well as I did, you were gonna pass. I, I had, I, yeah, I, I just needed to pressure him, you know, like. You just need to get to traffic, and you knew the top would come in eventually. Yeah, I was, I was a banking on it, but honestly, the bottom, like, as long as you could squirt off the bottom, like, it was, it was so fast. And the top, you're up there just murdering the it, you know. A long way around, man. They, I, Zach Dom said they had to change the gear on the micro, like, two or three teeth. Because people talking about that. they put the infield out like 50 feet, so. And I could almost feel it because you could make so much speed by the end of it. There was no way you were making the corner if you didn't slow down and hit the brakes, you know, like. Once it helps you guys, you fucking shit me. Yeah, that thing is, that thing was rolling. It was so good. Dude, the whole fucking EA Stealth is fucking here to play, dude. Yeah. Dude, that looks really good. It, it all lines up despite you cutting it all. I don't know how. You just can't look at the cut. <laughs> that's what drives me nuts. Is the cutting it. Yeah, well. Well, <clears throat> no, not at all. <laughs> tank stand. Man. Tank stand is sweet. I like that. <laughs> that is. 
You made that years ago, huh? Don would love that. Don would. Don would love that. I think I cut some stuff off of it, but it had to be made for different. Yeah. The tanks were different back in the day, and the way they mounted and stuff. Yeah. So, but I took some of it off. I think. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and it holds the tank perfect, so you can. Oh, you can't. Well, so can you actually work on it, like do the bladder with it there too? Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Double but purpose. Usually, it, usually the bladder is the best if you're doing on a rug. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I always take mine in the house, yeah. throw it on the carpet, and yeah. wrestle it. That's so, the best way to do it. Do straight rubbing alcohol. Dude, I love this little, this little camera and this little pod. Like, it's just... It's I like put a little wing film. On this thing just so I place it the whole stuff. <laughs> That's great. That is great. Oh yeah, what's your what's your thought on uh, shorty nerve bars? You think non-mixed spray bars are still a little too rowdy for shorty nerves? I don't know. It's tough. I'm all about the shorties, really, but it's it really just affects you personally. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're good. You get close to somebody's <clears throat> bad deal. Yeah. It ain't fucking it ain't good. I've had it both ways, though. You know, like, I've had it where I felt like the big Nerf bar caught, you know, sucked me in. You know what I mean? Like, I run people so close that sometimes climbing a left rear is that big Nerf bar. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? That's kind of what I was thinking with you. I think with you I could get away with shorty ones because you know where you're at at all times. And yeah. the, the big ones, man, I feel like sometimes they don't get in the curve. They do, yeah. Yeah, and it can fuck you over. And midgets, you have to have them. It's like the. It's like the, the fender. What you're saying now is you basically wrap uh, the tanks because it's cheaper to wrap the tanks than it is to paint them. Well, and, and the painters, we were talking about fish eyes, like they have to worry about that. And I just scuff that thing down and throw some on it, and they've probably got. I wouldn't know how many hours in it. Yeah. I've got five. Yeah, five hours Prep, to do a tank. Clean, get the vinyl to stick, lay it out, and from the stands, nobody can tell the difference from 10 feet away. You and I can't. Yeah. I just feel so, almost sorry for the painter because they can work out of it, but man, it's a lot of work to, to so do I, one of those. I don't think painters' minds didn't work They don't want to do it, honestly. No. Yeah, no. And I'm surprised any of them even just look at me and they're like, oh, fuck yeah, let me paint that tail thing. Well, I'm impressed. We've only been here a little over two hours, and you're almost done. What you only got one side. The last side is probably the easiest, right? Yeah, that should be the uh, Superman versus Deadpool. <laughs> Doctoring up the bonnet. Half hour left here. We're done. We're so close. So close. You think is it better to have the Zeus buttons on it or to take them off? Um, on because then it, you can cut around them and it doesn't chafe the vinyl. Yeah, it's kind of one of those t like if if the vinyl's underneath it, when you tighten the Zeus button, especially in the heat, you know it'll like wad it up or whatever. So I guess it's not a bad idea to cut them just all the way around. Using the torch, does that like kind of bring it back to like if you stretch it out or? Yeah, either way. Either way, yeah. Like. It'll stretch it, it'll shrink it, it'll, it takes it back to original. I seen this it's thing like where. Metal. So close. Well, we got one little piece here. We got. The cockpit kind of all set up. I need to buy a new seat for this thing.
Yeah, it looks good. I like it. Maybe it's going to be a lot brighter this year. Oh, yeah. Get them fucking fresh Kaisers on there, boy. Mm. Yeah, brand new wheels. All right, I think that's a wrap. All right, quick little day at the shop. Go, go hang out with Kyle. Chuck got uh, the graphics all done. I got my seat mounted, you know, just kind of, uh, they built a brand new car, so there wasn't a whole lot to do. But hey, as always, thanks for watching Team Ez TV. We got a couple hour drive home to Indianapolis. We're about to go meet, meet up with uh, Tim. And this week, I'm gonna build a spare midget, finally. We've been just waiting on everything to come together. That's what we're gonna go with. All right, I'm out of here. Time to pass.